Hey everyone, in this video we'll show you how to make sure that your Astro Command Center and Discord chat settings are tuned for optimal chat performance with the A50 headset. Before we begin, make sure that your A50 wireless and base station is properly connected to your PC. For more information on how to do that, click on the annotation to our PC setup video. Within Discord, navigate to Settings, Voice and Video. The input device should be set to headset microphone, Astro A50 voice, and the output device should be set to headset earphone, Astro A50 voice. This enables the game voice balance functionality of the A50 headset. Now that Discord recognizes your headset, let's tweak some features within the Astro Command Center to optimize your audio. If you haven't already, download and install the Astro Command Center from astrogaming.com software. Once installed, Navigate to the Microphone Settings tab in the ACC. On this tab, you will see four options to adjust. Noise Gate, Mic Equalizer, USB Mic Level, and Side Tone. For this setup, we'll only be changing the Noise Gate and USB Mic Level. For more information on the ACC, check out our Astro Command Center feature video. First, let's change the Noise Gate setting. Since Discord features its own noise gate, referred to as the input sensitivity, we recommend adjusting this setting within the ACC to streaming or off. We'll explain a bit more about what the noise gate is when we get to Discord. The USB mic level is used to change the volume of your microphone output. Since Discord features additional microphone level controls, we recommend leaving this option set at 100% within ACC and making adjustments within Discord. And that's it for the ACC. Now let's hop back into Discord. Underneath the drop-downs, there are volume sliders. The output volume should be left at 100% because you can control the game-to-voice balance using the A50's balancing paddle. The input volume is the volume of how others hear your voice. You should adjust this based on the feedback of your party members. Whether you need to increase or decrease this level depends on your natural speaking volume. Next, you can choose your input mode. Push to talk requires you to hold down a key or mouse button to enable your voice and voice activity uses the noise gate to begin your voice output. Next, input sensitivity. This is the noise gate control within Discord. Before we change your noise gate setting, let's establish what a noise gate is. The noise gate setting determines the minimum input volume level required for your microphone to activate and transmit voice input to your voice chat program. In other words, how loud you need to talk before your microphone begins to transmit your voice to the party. For fine-tuned control over background noise, we recommend disabling the option for automatically determined input sensitivity. When your microphone detects your voice, the input volume level will be displayed as a darkened bar on the sensitivity slider. You should adjust this slider while speaking so that it's positioned slightly below your normal speaking level, and while silent, that it's above any background noise in your gaming environment, such as a fan or TV. If the background noise in your environment is louder than your speaking level, position the A50 microphone closer to your mouth so you can increase the input sensitivity without being required to speak louder than normal. Note that if you set the input sensitivity too high, your voice transmission will sound choppy or cut off while speaking because your voice wasn't loud enough to keep the noise gate open. And that's it. You're now set up for crystal clear gaming comms through Discord with your A50 headset. For more information, head over to astrogaming.com.